uh, with the light emanating and all the psychologies, the divine psychologies and the demonic psychologies which are emanating you know from those surfaces and they are literally coming you know from that light and what is really happening is through your retina that when this light is translated into a language a visual language in your brain that is wherein the messages are uncoded and this is only you know some marks left on the artwork to show you know that the artist was here. Oh, I see. So, so this essence, is like your signature. This is like the signature. Yes. <laughs> but I don't actually. That's funny. I don't see a signature. No, there, is, there are no signature. Uh, you know, there's no. Signature. Except that, of course, once you know your work, then you know that it's Jamali. So. Well, it is like a person. So you don't need to have a signature. It that's like good. That's fabulous. I like that very much. Society is souls, and he gives or she gives it a shape and then he puts it up on a pedestal and then the society you know they come and they pay homage they revere and they bow and that humanizes them that connects them with their own spirits with their own souls they're humanized i think part of the excitement that i felt when i first discovered the first paintings of Jamali was I felt like this has to be a great artist and I felt like it's somebody that I have not heard of before this time and I felt excited because I felt like I was on the brink of a discovery of a great great artist. <laughs> I want to stress here that when I'm doing the dancing, uh, I am literally doing that cosmic dance, which I really, which I see in this desert. If we look around, then we see that there is a lyrical movement. You know, sometimes there is a chaotic lyrical movement. All ritualistic art is done only for one and only one purpose, and that is the death of the old. So, uh, this image of uh, the death of the bird or the death of the bird of the soul, which is the phoenix, uh, happens, you know, in, in, the, uh, in the desert. And only when one kills one's own ego, that one finds God's ego uh, in one's heart. And that, of course, is the true birth of man. 